Good morning year one. I hope you're all well. So this week while we're home learning we're going to be uploading some activities for you to do on the school blog and on the school spider. So you can have a look at them there and then once you're done you can upload your work and myself and Mr Chamberlain will comment back to you. We also realise that some children haven't done home learning before so if there's anything you need support with then you can comment and we'll, we'll try and help you. So today on Monday in maths this morning we're going to be doing subtraction. Last week in maths we were looking at addition so this is the opposite today. Um, so in subtraction we always start with the biggest number and our answer is going to be a smaller number and we're going to be counting backwards on our 100 square. So there's a list of subtraction questions for you to have a go at and they get a little bit harder as you go down so you can just stop when you feel they're getting a little bit too tricky. In English this morning, we're going to be looking at punctuation that we use at the end of a sentence. So we're looking at full stops, exclamation marks and question marks. So first of all, can you tell a grown up about when you use these different punctuation marks at the end of sentences? And then there's a little worksheet. There's three worksheets actually, and you can do whichever one you feel is best for you. Um, and maybe your grown ups could help you pick. Um, uh, where you need to read the sentences and then select which punctuation would be most suitable at the end. In phonics this afternoon, we're going to be looking at the shun sound that is found at the end of words. So we'd like you to watch the little video that goes through this sound that's used at the end of words. And then there are some cards uploaded as well. Maybe you could copy them and make your own cards and we'd like you to play a game of pairs with a grown up using the words with the shun sound at the end. And then finally in geography, recently we've been looking at the different compass points. So there's a blank compass that we'd like you to see if you can remember and fill out the different compass points. And then we'd like you to use your compass to complete the activity on the worksheet. Again, there's a, I think there's three worksheets um, so you can pick which one you feel is best for you and it's following the compass um, directions and recording where you end up. So I hope you have a lovely day and we can't wait to see your work later and we'll be back again tomorrow. Bye!